In this video, I'll be discussing choosing an autocomplete engine for Python. Now, there's two popular options in the marketplace, so we'll talk about both of them and their pros and cons. However, before we do that, I want to discuss why we might want to use an autocomplete engine in the first place. So why do we as developers use an autocomplete? Well, the simple answer to this is that it saves us time. As we all know, coding can be extremely repetitive and being able to cut down on keystrokes as we type is a massive advantage and saves us tons of time in the long run. Another huge advantage of an autocomplete is the fact that it can help us remember syntax that we otherwise may have had to look up. As libraries get larger and larger and languages incorporate more and more functions and methods into them, it's becoming harder and harder to remember all of this syntax. Using a good autocomplete engine can help you remember exactly what it is you need to do and see the arguments and specific functions that can be used within a library or within a language. This is why it's so important to consider a variety of factors when choosing an autocomplete engine. The first is, how often are completions shown over the course of a project, and are they shown for a variety of different libraries and modules, or only the built-in ones in Python? The next thing we're going to want to look at is, are these completions relevant, and are they correct? Are they semantically aware, and are they actually ending up saving us time by giving us the correct line that we actually want? And finally, we need to look at how many keystrokes we're actually going to be saving by using this specific autocomplete engine. If this number is low, we might want to consider switching to a different autocomplete engine, which is going to save us more time in the long run. So with that being said, let's introduce the two different autocomplete engines I'm going to be talking about today, Jedi and Kite. The first autocomplete engine to talk about is Jedi. Now, Jedi is a very popular autocomplete engine for Python. It's open source, it has a very simple API, and it connects very easily to different Python IDEs and editors. It even has a pip command to install it, which makes it very simple to get up and running very quickly. Now, since Jedi is a fairly simple autocomplete engine, it only delivers completions less than 60% of the time. It also has single token completions and a fairly high latency of about 100 milliseconds. This means that depending on how fast you type, you may actually miss a few completions as you can type through the line faster than you can see the completion pop up. Now, the next autocomplete to talk about is called Kite. Now, Kite is an autocomplete that's powered by advanced statistical models and machine learning. It has deep integrations with VS Code, Atom, Vim, PyCharm, and Subline, and it's a free plugin that runs a deep learning model on your computer while you type. You don't need an account, you don't need an internet connection, and it's very easy to get set up and running. Compared to Jedi, Kite shows completions 80 to 90% of the time, and it has a very low latency of about 20 milliseconds. This makes it feel pretty well instant while you're typing, seeing the completions pop up. Now let's take Kite for a spin with the same script we used earlier with Jedi. You can see here that as I start typing import re, request is the first completion to be shown and I can finish that by simply hitting enter. And as we get to request.get, we can see another cool feature of Kite, which is called intelligent snippets. Here, Kite is showing us not only the completion for .get, but it's also showing us the arguments for this specific method. In this case, what I want is URL, so I'm going to use the arrow keys to get down to URL, hit enter, we can see that URL is inserted automatically, and I can go ahead and start typing and put in the URL that I would like. Moving down to r.content, we can see that as I type r.c, the first suggestion to be shown is content, and I can go ahead and complete that by hitting enter, like so. Another cool feature of Kite is called Copilot. Now the Copilot window acts as a companion coding window on your screen, which shows you relevant documentation for the modules, functions, and methods you're working with. You can simply click your cursor through the file, and it will pop up the documentation for that line on the right or left side of your screen, depending on where you have the Copilot window. To download and install Kite, you can go to the link in the description down below. So if you're interested in using an autocomplete engine in Python to code faster, there are two main options to pick from, Jedi and Kite. Jedi offers a simple integration experience with relatively basic and sometimes semantically unaware completions. However, it can be good for single token completions if you're not sure if you even want an autocomplete engine running. Kite, however, uses machine learning to power advanced completions that are ranked by relevance to your script. It can complete full lines of code and suggest placeholder values for your function and method calls, and the separate Copilot app is very handy for documentation. There's a link in the description where you can download Kite for free. Now to wrap up here, I want to ask you guys what you think. What do you think about using an autocomplete when you're writing code in Python? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments down below.